one is sir ranjit bajaj and one is a uh, favorite player and favorite uh, you know my brother here rahatriman ranbir uh, so first i would love to you know uh, take a lot of questions from your side but we will have to discuss some things that i have a lot of questions to ask yeah to mr ranjit bajaj and also to sriman ranbir uh, of course regarding his passport and stuff like that so let's get started um, first of all sir welcome to the channel i think this is the first time you are here and my brother here has been here twice or thrice i guess so first i want to ask thank you, you thank you so much for having me and it's great <laughs> to be here on playmaker finally thank you for the premiums made sure that i'm here now, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah thank you so much sriman for that um, so sir थोड़ा हिंदी थोड़ा इंग्लिश मिक्स करके मैं बताऊंगा बिकॉज आई थिंक थोड़ा सा फास्ट में मेरा थोड़ा इंग्लिश खराब हो जाता है तो आई जस्ट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क इट्स इट्स बीन लाइक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स आई हैव बीन आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन टू मेनी प्रोफेशनल्स की बहुत लोगों को मैं पूछ रहा हूँ ये क्वेश्चन बट एक प्रॉपर आंसर नहीं मिल रहा बिकॉज आई हैव बीन लाइक अभी इंडियन फुटबॉल सीन में थोड़ा सा हो गया मुझे वक्त की सिक्स टू फाइव मंथ्स जस्ट इस तो मैंने मेरा जो एफ ए का लाइसेंस ले लिया है उसके बाद मैं थोड़ा सा हाँ मैंने थोड़ा सा खोज कर रहा हूँ कि भाई क्या चल रहा है इंडियन फुटबॉल में बैकग्राउंड में नॉट नॉट हम लोग न्यूज वगैरह तो नहीं मतलब बैकग्राउंड में रियलिटी रियलिटी में क्या चल रहा है तो मैं मैं स्काउटिंग भी यहाँ पे कर रहा हूँ यूएई में थोड़े जो इंडियन बंदे यहाँ पे खेल रहे हैं उनके उनके लीग में थोड़ा स्काउट कर रहा हूँ उनसे बात कर रहा हूँ ट्राई कर रहा हूँ उनको पॉडकास्ट पे लाऊँ ट्राई कर रहा हूँ उनसे फैमिली से बात करूँ वगैरह वगैरह तो आई हर्ड मेनी ऑफ द गोवन स्काउट मेनी ऑफ द स्काउट स्पेशल इन साउथ एंड नॉर्थ ईस्ट हैव ए आई एफ एफ डी लाइसेंस तो क्या ये सच है मतलब ए आई एफ एफ डी लाइसेंस पे आप स्काउटिंग करवा रहे हो मतलब लोग वहाँ पे स्काउटिंग करवा रहे हैं एक एक तो भाई मैं नहीं करवा रहा ओके तुम करवा रहे हो मैं नहीं करवा रहा मैं लड़ रहा हूं इन चीजों के अगेंस्ट ओके तो सी इन फैक्ट स्काउटिंग इज समथिंग व्हिच इज इतना ज्यादा स्पेशलाइज्ड जॉब है कि फॉरगेट अबाउट जो आप बोल रहे हो भाई कि डी लाइसेंस डी सी ए बी प्रो को भी नहीं पता स्काउट अलग चीज होती है एग्जैक्टली यस देखना प्लेयर को जब वो प्रूवन है एंड आई एम एज अ मैनेजर एज अ कोच I'm not saying managers, coaches are bad scouts, but they're good scouts of good players. That means that my team is playing against someone who is good. This guy will look good. Let me get him. Same with Pep Guardiola does it. Alex Ferguson used to do it. Find good players, but that level players. Now scouting is where the real scouting is at the age of nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The ones you will scout out from the millions. They scout out from the already hundred and fifty or two hundred they have. Us me se do nikalne bahut asaan hai. मिलियंस में से निकालना एंड देन टू प्रोडिक्ट दैट इस बंदे पे पैसे खर्च करो ट्रेनिंग न्यूट्रिशन सो दिस गाय इज गोइंग टू बी द वन आउट एंड लीविंग आउट द अदर एंड लीविंग आउट द राइट वन सो दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम द प्रॉब्लम हैज बीन इन द स्काउटिंग सिस्टम ऑफ इंडिया बिकॉज़ आई बिलीव द गुड टैलेंट्स हैव ऑलरेडी बीन प्रोड्यूस्ड बट दे हैव बीन लेफ्ट आउट फॉर एग्जांपल आई जस्ट गिव यू मैं आपको एग्जांपल अभी देता हूं भाई लाइक एम एस धोनी आई डोंट वांट मैं आई डोंट वांट टू ब्रिंग इन क्रिकेट हियर बट एम एस धोनी फुटबॉलर था गोलकीपर था मेरे या पाइज फुटबॉलर था तो इमेजिन करो ये तो चलो लड़के छोड़ के दे बिकम लेजेंड्स या यू मीन टू से इफ दे यस नाउ इज लुकिंग लाइक अ गुड डिसीजन फॉर देम टू हैव लेफ्ट फुटबॉल बट imagine if they wouldn't have it would have been great for indian football so i'm just saying now in the next 10 years obviously indian football 15 years will be there so we don't want the top talent to slip away to other sports because jo sports person hai at the age of 9 10 11 agar football mein nahi jayega to cricket mein jayega cricket mein nahi jayega tennis mein jayega he will go somewhere he will not sit at home yeah so like i was so confused because see uh, because wo hoti hai na ki jab aapne fa level karte hai kuch football ke bare mein aapne seekha थोड़ा आपको फुटबॉल के बारे में पता चला तो मेरे में वो चूल थी कि भाई कुछ करते हैं यहाँ पे लोकल में एटलीस्ट फ्री में काम कर देते हैं थोड़ा स्काउटिंग वगैरह करते हैं तो मैंने आई फर्स्ट अप्लाई टू अ जॉब देन देव आस्क मी कि आपके पास एफ लेवल का तो वो तो है आपके पास कोचिंग सर्टिफिकेट बट स्काउट का क्या है मतलब आई डिट न्यू की भाई स्काउट के लिए सर्टिफिकेट लगती है बिकॉज वॉट आई वॉज रीडिंग वॉज लाइक यू डोंट लाइक इतना तो लेटेस्ट न्यूज इज देर इज अ वेरी बिग फाइट इन फीफा फॉर एजेंट सो एजेंट्स के लिए भी यू इंटरमीडिएटरी जो बोलते हैं You yeah. have to pass an examination. Now, anyone can just not start up and be an agent. I'm not talking about India. Anyone can be an agent. In India. <laughs> I'm talking about the rest of the real world. Like I'm also an agent here. Everyone is an agent. Okay? But there, you have to know the basics. An agent cannot be someone who does not know what are the rules uh, which are uh, applied when transfers are happen. What is legal? What is not illegal? How do you actually take care of a player? Your responsibility just doesn't end in the signing. It has to be a daily affair with the player. that yeah. is what a real yeah. agent is 
and not only with him but corresponding with his parents corresponding with his family making sure that he feels that only thing he has to uh, focus on is the game and everything else is looked after within exactly yeah so, so that's why ye cheeze hai nahi na and when they say we want to uh, professionalize or we want to work on grassroots see grassroots mein belgium mein jahan se trimana hai belgium mein grassroots kaun sikhata hai b license coaches हमारे yeah. yeah. कौन सिखाते हैं एक स्पेशल कोचिंग का सर्टिफिकेट है कॉल ग्रासरूट सर्टिफिकेट जो ए, ए, yeah. जो एक दि, एक दिन में मिल जाता है एंड इज फ्री ओके सो वो ग्रासरूट कोच है हमारे सो हमारी जो जो चीजें इन्होंने लाइफ के लिए रखनी है स्किल्स टेक्निकल स्किल्स विच दे टीच एट द ग्रास रूट फ्रॉम सिक्स टू ट्वेल्व थर्टीन इज बींग टॉट बाई ग्रास रूट कोचेज विच इज नॉट इवन ई डी के बाद भी ई e है एक तो इन्होंने लाइक like, मेरे को लगता है जेड तक जाएंगे Because <laughs> अभी तक मैंने यूएफा और बाकी जगहों पे सी तक देखे हैं इन्होंने डी ई ग्रास रूट तो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू लेट दोज बॉयज दोज कोचेज बी द वन रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द फ्यूचर जनरेशन अब मेरे को प्रॉब्लम क्या थी जब मैं आई प्लेट फॉर इंडिया अंडर नाइनटीन सो जब मैं गया पहली बारी कैंप में सो एट अंडर नाइनटीन लेवल कोचेज व गुड एवरीथिंग वॉज गुड एन आई एस पटियाला में था बट आई हैड टू रीच अंडर नाइनटीन टू समन टू टीच मी कि बॉल को जब पकड़ते हैं तो डब्ल्यू ग्रिप होता है उससे पहले उस एग्जैक्टली उससे पहले आई वाज देयर बिकॉज आई वाज गुड गुड मतलब बेटर देन ऑल द अदर्स अदर्स या आई वाज देयर बट आई नेवर इमेजिन इफ समवन हैड टॉट मी दिस मैंने प्रोबेबली अपनी लाइफ में जितने गोल खाए हैं उससे एटलीस्ट एक दो कम खाए होते या 10 कम खाए होते जस्ट बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस एंड मे बी आई वुड हैव बीन पिक्ड अप बाय समबडी एल्स एंड आई वुड हैव गोन फॉर so and this is the thing but and now when kids come to me um, not from my system from outside systems and they come and they have played for india and they come and they say we played under 19 india under 17 india and i see that they don't know the basic technic technical problem and they right now they can because they are so talented they can be above in the under 17 19 yeah right but at this moment they go up problem in india mein hai 17 tak 19 tak no problem uske baad jo drop off aata hai quality level mein is enormous exactly this has been the problem see we have seen players under 16 under 17 mein bahut hi acha khelte hue but suddenly aap under 19 ke baad dekhoge to bhai pit rahe hain international level to pit rahe hain pit rahe hain club level pe bhi pit rahe hain it's like yeah. that that's the story of that yeah True. and like i said yahan pe if you want to become a scout at least not a scout you have to be an assistant scout theek hai you have to have that id level 1 id level 1 certificate which is given by the football association of england theek hai AFC का आपके पास अगर B लाइसेंस हुआ लाइक यू सेड इफ AFC B लाइसेंस है तो तभी आपको प्रोफेशनल कप हायर करेंगे कि भाई But... आप आगे स्काउटिंग कर सकते हो इट्स लाइक दैट सो इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट लाइक इन इंडिया बट इट्स वेरी इजी टू गेट स्काउटिंग जॉब या फिर मैनेजर का जॉब आप बोल लो इजीली मिल जाता है सो दैट्स बीन द मेन प्रॉब्लम आई थिंक इंडिया में मतलब देयर आर नो नॉट जॉब मिल जाता है देयर आर नो स्काउट्स देयर आर नो स्काउट्स इन इंडिया सो वो गलती से स्काउटिंग हमारी कैसी होती है ऑनेस्टली स्पीकिंग के इनका टूर्नामेंट आ गया तो जो टूर्नामेंट सपोज आई लीग अंडर 13 15 18 आ गया सो hmm, so, hmm. अपने कोचेस को बोलते हैं जाओ यार ढूंढो जाके या एक ट्रायल कर लो उस ट्रायल में जो इनको बेस्ट लगे वो इनकी स्काउटिंग है इनकी स्काउटिंग इज नेवर एक्चुअल रियल स्काउटिंग गोइंग टू मैचेस गोइंग टू एक्चुअल टूर्नामेंट्स गोइंग टू प्लेसेस व्हिच आर आउट ऑफ देयर एरिया एंड देन डूइंग इट आई थिंक दिस दिस हैज बीन द मैसिव प्रॉब्लम इसके लिए इंडिया इतना पीछे रह गया रिगार्डिंग द ग्रासरूट्स आप बोल लो क्लब्स का आप बोल लो बिकॉज़ आई थिंक वी हैव इमेंस टैलेंट by hum log we are talking about around what 3.2 billion people we have in india more than that i guess so no 1.1.4 sorry 1.4 1.4 and 2.2 okay no, 1.4 1.4 bhi billion bhi bahut hai because iceland ki population 3 hmm. lakh hai and this is example i give exactly 3 lakh 3 lakh yahan ke diwali ke mele pe hote hain so diwali ke mele pe aapko char panch player mil jayenge mere hisab se what i have noticed in india um I've said I said to my father and my friends that look the players the J player it they play they are but yeah they are good but just I think the coaching is just not at the level and they cannot develop as players in Europe would be and they should but they have at least the same quality as the players there there's no big difference but they just haven't had good coaching and I mean I'm not really um, I'm not saying the coaching is bad but it's not the same over there you know so compared to India the coaching is really good but exactly I'll tell yeah. you what the problem the problem is the decision making Freeman. See what happens is that uh, you something which is known as scanning 
it's very easy to tell people scanning scanning but scanning ka matlab it has to be a habit taught like an foot uh, like a pass or yeah. like a shot or like a volley it has to be in, in, inherent in muscle memory that wo kehte hain they are siniesta which is a part of your body which was the most tired after the match he says my neck muscles he says why because i used to keep doing this keep doing this and uh, we don't know positional play then after that the worst thing is that our decision making sucks why does it suck because we never focus on it and what we do is we focus on the, just controlling the ball then once we've controlled the ball then looking up and seeing kaisa banda kaun sa khali hai that is the speed of level of football we play at and i see all the indian matches when i'm analyzing at 1.5 speed and they look like wow yeah they're playing really well <laughs> because it's 1.5 speed and that's how far back we are the yeah. speed of football is the problem and the speed of football is all because from right from the beginning the technique is wrong because technique is wrong they cannot control the ball when it's given fast and they're not they're not able to turn around they're not able to have an open body position so these are all things which are stemming from the grassroots also the most we, games have played uh, and my experience uh, from the games one thing yeah about this uh, maybe attacking it is also really lacking in attacking intelligence i mean defensively i think teams are really solid and midfield is all right but mainly the attacking intelligence No, I, I would and not I think, agree with that. Uh, I think uh, I think uh, uh, Mr. Mujaz will, will agree with me. We are not defensively apt. We are not defensively apt. We have been doing, you know, जो uh, uh, errors करते हैं ना जो गली football में errors होते हैं ना we we do that kind of errors when we have to be you know defensively apt. वहाँ पे क्या होता है vision vision बहुत मार खा रही है Indian especially Indian national setup में इसी तो vision is not there. A proper vision is not there. You see जहाँ पे उनको you have to be you know calm composed. There they want to be like quick and fast. and waha pe kya hota hai they throw wrong passes that's been the scene even even in the intercontinental cup well they played better than the previous games but still it was the same i think only anwar ali was the one who was like giving trading passes i mean like Hi. oh my god i was just going to say that my bro <laughs> that have you ever seen anwar pass and in that position where he's a center back why it's not because he understand he is not just been born like that okay he was in my system since he was 13 because he was in the system where all my center of any of my center backs who have been put in my system will be able to pass out from the back like sandesh jingan like anwar ali like harmi bomb the yeah. and like jackson who used to be a center back toyba singh yeah. used to be a center back yeah. uh, Nar- narinder gelot used to be a Gelod. center back so yes. all these guys because from from day one and if you're doing that from day one it becomes as good as if you've been doing long ball from day one like when you go to subhashish bose and all these guys in bengal they teach you long ball even in punjab they do but i'm talking about in india they do so all the other ones they are very comfortable in giving perfect long balls but long ball is inherent in indians because that's what we are taught from the beginning and now anwar has double anwar can give a perfect long ball and he can pass out from the back and just having that skill makes a i'll tell you how much a 50% impact on the team exactly because if you cannot build up from the back and people think oh long ball long ball ninth now people don't know stats 90% of all long balls come back to you within 3 seconds exactly 90% exactly <laughs> what you're doing is yeah. so what do you do long ball when i'm going to kick long what are all my defenders going to do all four what do we teach them all four get together like this right in the ball of the long ball have two of my dm pivots right in middle to so create a box and you win the long ball and the second ball and then you attack and we are falling into the trap every single time no good team no good team will be ex- exposed by a long ball like this which what they trying to do in india maybe but not when you want to when you wanting to improve and go to the highest level okay because and switching the ball and diagonal balls is totally different than a vertical long ball because yeah. in a vertical long ball you are playing into the hands of defense because that's what you're taught to stay compact when you're giving diagonal and when you're giving switches you are shifting the defense and you are taking them to the overload side so it's just and I, I don't i don't know the idea of the long ball to be honest with, with the international team setup i i think I, i agree with the netherlands ones i agree with the england agar karte hain because we yeah, don't have ke saale forward 6 foot 6 inch hai exactly exactly hamara sunil chetri hai yaar so that, that's the problem with like seriously i'm yeah. not able to understand and still ego stamets thick aussie no no hate for ego stamets but still even a coach from outside comes and instills the same idea instills the same thing in him like i'm not understanding but okay you saw that like i like i mentioned anwar ali i saw two three passes which were perfectly threaded passes 
for the forwards just to run in just to take a inverted run in and bang it in the goal that was the quality of that pass but i i just wish ki bhai ye sab log kare thoda sa not not i dekho overnight sub change nahi hoga it will be you see automatically sahel has that vision and mm-hmm. automatically akash mishra has that vision yeah now why because uh, sahel all his life was in a uae academy um akash mishra i'm talking about the growing up and the main technical years when i say all my life uh, akash mishra was in a german academy so the vision is developed from there when if that that age they are there it's very easy for them to come and adjust to the indian style as long as technically they're good like triman triman when he came here i really thought he wouldn't be able to but he was able to adjust with even my senior team and you had center backs like gurtej and karan who both played in the isl so he's being able to hold his own there and that's a, and that's all not because he's a big man he's not because he can he's got the technique and he's been taught from a very young age that when you're facing center backs or 64 how do you make your body weight how do you make sure your center of gravity is low in fact not big you know all those things so it's like that i think i think uh, if you look at the quality of isl which is like right now like ye saal se thoda sa lag raha hai ki bhai ek thoda level chhu rahi hai but still jo ye hona tha i think ye jo level abhi chal raha hai ye do teen saal pehle hona chahiye tha and that True. that's the way forward theek hai but bhai abhi bhi level na is increasing very very little because the kind of footballers who are coming in um are not top class i mean when i say that i mean that because of covid ab hamar ko problem padegi wo jo 2 saal bhi 3 years we've lost yeah there are going to be no new footballers coming in because mm-hmm. the only the guys who see the ones who are coming in have to be better than the ones who are there yeah I yeah. don't see the guys who are better than the ones who are there in the next two, three years coming, and that's not good for India because um, we lost out on a lot of time when the whole world was still working on their football. Yeah, and I think I think that's the major difference when we talk about Gulf. We talk about the Southeast Asian countries also. We, you know, they are growing in a massive uh, way. Okay, their national team is not doing that much good, but still, the the clubs ways and the player playing in the clubs are very good. because national team ka setup bhai wo depend karta hai coach ke formation pe the ideas and stuff like that but still i think they have quality players than us i, I still feel it because i see them regular playing in the uae league i see them regular playing with the uae teams so the quality is way different than the indian quality so uh, do you think the national team coach also has an impact on the national team the way they play and also the ideas bhai, see they can only have an impact if um, they are allowed to do something for example if you ask igor the how many times is he okay to have said that okay i have had preparation for a particular competition it would have only be for the afc cup because he got 45 days if you look at our performance in the afc cup you will say oh my god what were we playing in the intercontinental club with the same kind of teams or what were we playing in the saf cup with the same team it was because they came differently from 10 different clubs playing together and putting now you saying okay european clubs also do that yes man their level is different they can come yeah. and adjust but these guys need time together as a team so if you give a national team and you uh, you cut put his hands back and you say okay fine half you can only get points in fifa windows yeah. okay so half half the fifa windows are covered in isl so they are not let go so those go okay the other half you are able to give them only 10 days before the tournament so if we go and draw with teams like bangladesh and afghanistan no disrespect to them but we should be thrashing them because of our size and the kind of resources we have and the kind of resources they have still still we pull out a draw still we pull out, pull out a draw we, uh, we just and narrowly was, escape but, but, exactly. but if you look what if we you look at a team the like uh, well, yeah, look if you look like a team at qatar that played like 6 months before the world cup even they stayed together and trained but it wasn't a massive success with them just an uh, example so i mean yeah Yeah, it depends see, on the team. Yeah, yeah, it it sees uh, Qatar was competing with yeah. uh, Argentina and all those countries. Yeah, that's right? true. I'm talking about competing with Bangladesh and Afghanistan. <laughs> man, so we need to be okay. thrashing them. Okay. Yeah. And I think yeah, mo- most true. of the players played against India when they, we drew against them. That was a match to remember. To be honest, we were kind of lucky. I I would I would not take you know bragging rights of that. We were kind of lucky also. We put on a good, great show, great defensive show. That great match. defensive show. In yeah, fact, great we defensive show. Good pressing. Sandhu had an amazing match. That amazing day. match. Yeah, seriously, any uh, if, the, if there was an international scout, he would like take him and go right away because that was a great match by him. Uh, no, he, he's uh, good pressing. Sandhu is actually one of the Indian, one of the only few Indian footballers currently who will be able to go to a European league. 
in fact he's got offers and he doesn't go there simply because the money is not good yeah and, exactly and um if he goes even to the first division to an east european country he'll probably be getting 5 to 10000 dollars and he's yeah. making 10 times 20 times that here so why should he do that exactly i think and that's I, where the problem is okay that's where the problem is that yeah. that will fare both well for our future yeah. because if indians are going to make more money here then what will happen is it will force young indians who are good enough to go abroad never even think of it uh what i think this is a great topic to talk about see, see uh, i wanted to ask this also ki like see now every every club is you know complaining that the indians are getting paid a lot and the quality is not the same you compare it to the ones coming from outside because they are they are getting the pay, same pay scale here and most of the young guys that, like uh, take a you know example of komal thattal i i thought he's going to make it big in indian football scene but he, all the wrong choices by him uh, choosing the wrong club you know choosing the wrong agent in my opinion <laughs> i would say that no i agree yeah. i agree <laughs> yeah seriously he, he just downfall i'm i'm not seeing him on you know uh, on the right age right now he's like a string player you can say a bench player right now and see he will never make back this time the amount of because i told him man trimmon this so i told him bro listen if you get in get in here if you don't get back to belgium immediately because at this time you need game time bro if you are sitting on the bench anywhere you are not going to be the same player people think you get better with training with better players no you get better with playing, playing. time yeah. game time, game, yeah. time. Yeah. game time is very important i guess because see the young players they need game time and what isl is doing to young players is i think in my opinion is very wrong okay the development league is there stuff like that but it's just started okay so if the team is not getting more game time in the main isl matches they need to send them to the development league no matter what kind of player what status the player has they need to send them look yes. the, yeah and because or in second division in second yeah. division every isl team is taking it as uh, you know as a holiday that you know we'll send our under 17s there and we are thrashing them 5-0 and 4-0 mumbai city at their It's home stadium i mean that's mm-hmm. wrong i mean what i'm not talking about those players i'm not talking about we are, maybe we have a good team but the point is that they have enough bench strength to make sure that they give game time to these players because next year now look at mumbai city in the super cup by the way they yeah. have all indian squad and they're doing yeah. really well and yeah. they're doing so well because they're being able to get a chance first time proper, proper game time and they're beating other teams so it's a good thing and this and is what happening about, yeah this is what so happening talking about game time yeah yeah um like the league system like also now the i league too um they, they the system of the league like in compared to europe if you have a league it's uh, all year round two games uh, like the isl for example then you have the i league too which now for example techcho i think they are out and their season is over in like eight games or something like that and it's just a shame i think if the system if the if the system would have been different i think they could have played more game time more more chances and maybe proved themselves better on the long term and i mean now with this league system also the i league under 17 which is also ended really quick i mean if they had like a season with all the teams like all year round i think it would have been better more game time more exposure more quality i think and uh, better development and i think in the future it's going to change what you say uh, sir i think in the future they are trying to make the league you yes, know a, a little bit longer um uh, <coughs> the new things are coming in indian football right now with the vision to what 2047 and the, what they implementing in fact by when i was with the coa i had given the same suggestions and they were put in the constitution like reviving the uh, institution league reviving the legacy tournaments and by the institution league because that will give job security to people and will open up jobs because abhi jit all the earlier we used to be doing so well in 60s 70s and 80s because government companies used to support in fact yeah. government companies support cricketers and hockey hockey players as well and badminton players and tennis players that's why people take those careers up the only place now there's nothing is football because yeah. it was so commercialized and it was for, for a country like india it was a big big no because for example iraq iraq air force team is been the af champions so yeah. is uh, singhbai which is the army team of korea so yeah you know we have to not we have to look at what our strengths is not just follow the west blindly and we'll show with this then with the women's football with a minimum bare minimum package coming in of 3.2 lakhs at least is something man yeah so exactly have, imagine if you have 10 players who are earning that five will be earning half that there'll be at least five who will be earning double that 
so that that's made a career out of football then referees getting contracts so you see good things are happening and i've just heard that they've and that's such a great thing for me we've heard that they've applied for the afc qualifiers in futsal and that may be hosted in india and if that happens it will be a game changer because yeah. more ssg small sided games people play in the backyard the more footballers we'll produce exactly exactly and i think futsal will also give a king you know pump start to football you know the mentality will change a bit a bit you know because they'll be starting you know the the tournaments in schools then colleges and stuff because it's it's a something you know you have to look for the future also because i think indian futsal team is not that great if you compare to the you know the no, neighboring but india, doesn't, india doesn't have a futsal team man really it's i thought they, they were yeah, playing futsal no. No man, those teams which go yeah. are private teams which are ah. just made up of people who go and represent people India in a private tournament because there was no futsal team. Oh, Now so they've, they've so there were two there've been two leagues last year and this year, and my clubs have been champions of both the leagues. So Minerva won it this year, uh, DFC won it last year, and we are going to be hopefully taking part in the AFC Club Championship, which is going to happen next year. And this year the qualifiers are going to happen for the country for the A- AFC Country Championship. Yeah. So if that happens and we qualify, futsal is a game I think India can do really well in. Why? Because physicality doesn't matter. The moment you're physical with someone, you get a penalty. Then yeah. on top of that, stamina doesn't matter because there are rolling changes. Exactly. Then on top of that, your size doesn't matter because the smaller you are, better. So yeah. it suits Indian in, Indians really, really well. Exactly, and I think uh, like you like you said, all this you know trials, and I think India can really do better in the you know futsal thing because. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I I just saw one of your questions by the mindset that uh, no relegation in ISL is a big problem. No yeah. relegation in any league is a big problem. That <laughs> exactly, merit is not uh, taken in seriously. Merit has to be taken seriously. If you're good enough, champion. If not good enough, go down, get somebody else a chance. That has to be open and down. That's how the pyramid starts. If you don't have a pyramid system, you're screwed. Now, now so, recently, recently there was a comment that uh, they will they will think about it in in the next couple of years. Like they will add around sixteen team. After that, they'll be starting the you know relegation yeah. and uh, promotion. Now promotion has started. Yeah. So the if, they, if they do that, that's a great thing. And with sixteen so, team, they'll be at least now two more months added to the season, which is again exactly. a great thing. Yeah. And uh, yeah. somebody asked why I don't stand in the election of AI. Yeah, this was this was. Happy. So I've been to five different states, and I'm I'm a champion in five different states with different clubs, but I've never even become an executive member in any state. Nor even this time there were a lot of offers, and I didn't want to do it because the I don't believe that I'll be able to work on the ground the way I do if I'm able to sit if I sit in office all day. And yeah, and that's the last that's thing. True. And I, I think there's a lot of time which is left for that later on in life. And even if I want to. But I have no intention of doing it because I hate politics of yeah. any kind. You get, you have to get affiliation with the, with the big parties of India. Then yeah, and you know what's going to happen. <laughs> no, not only that. You have to actually listen to your state affairs. But even if they're doing wrong things, why? Because you want their vote, and that yeah. is not possible for me. Mm. I think th- there is this is the thing we have to discuss also. Like the state affairs has been doing a lot of bad things. The state affairs are the main. Kind of cancer to Indian football, I guess. Main culprits, yes. You yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Because Why? because uh, AIFF has to follow uh, the sports code, but apparently the state FAs don't have to follow that code. Exactly. And that was what my whole fight was for in the Supreme Court. When I had put the case, it was for the national sports code has to be followed by everybody, the state FAs as well. And we put it in the constitution this time. And if we get that hearing soon in the Supreme Court and it's applied, it will be a revolution because that will make Sure that every state FA has to have a senior league. Their accounts are public. Their senior league men, women, junior league men, women, thirteen, fifteen, eighteen, and everything. So if they start doing that in every state, which is not if, so, when people say a one point four billion, it's not one point four billion. I'll tell you how much it is. It is Manipur, and only the capital city of Manipur, Imphal. Same way, capital city of Bengal, Kolkata, capital city of Maharashtra, Mumbai, Mumbai. are the ones playing Goa. And you have probably uh, no Bangalore. Okay. I think Bangalore is also Bangalore, yeah. and then Kerala, yeah. and Kerala maybe only some parts of Kerala, not the entire. There are four or five districts who are not in football. So when you say one point four billion, it's not. It's just the six seven states and parts of these states. So actually, looking at it, our base is enormous. If we are able to tap into it, that means get it out there totally. And also, also, I think there have been problem. Like uh, seriously, 
like if you talk about Maharashtra, the clubs are coming only from Mumbai. Where you know, uh, I think places like Nagpur, places like Pune, places like Kolapur have big potential. Exactly. Like, no, no one cares and about this, them. There is football there, but yeah, exactly. how do you promote it if you're not going to let teams from there come? Or same in Calcutta. What about places like 24, uh, uh, Kalimpong and Darjeeling and all those places? They have such great players. And the same thing with uh, in in Karnataka and Bangalore. Why only the state teams are taken from there? So that's a big, big thing which we have to look at. Every was Pune not an ISA? Pune was an ISA, no? Pune, yeah, yeah, Pune, yeah, yeah. But but that was in the ISL. They they went uh, by the other paying money scheme. So yeah, yeah. Anyone, oh, anyone yeah, like franchise type of thing. Uh, I can yeah. be in the Moon Moon FC and pay them eighteen crores. <laughs> there as well. Yeah, it's like that. So. Because I, I've seen Kolhapur hosting a local league and I think around 20,000 people, 20 odd thousand people were there in the crowd I, to watch. Yeah. No, I've heard of even 40, 40,000 crowds. In exactly. Kolhapur. I've seen it live. I've seen the also. madness of people. You know, it's, it's, it's a Rajasthan, different thing. Bro, in Rajasthan, in some far off places, I've seen 30, 30, 40,000 people. <laughs> it's madness. In I, think, I think this is the places where, you know, the AIFF has to tap. You know, they have mm. to tap in there. Get in there. Go send your scouts. At least send the coaches. Try to bring some players out. So the thing is, the people, the locality will join the clubs. You know, they will they will start supporting the club. This is how clubs and the ultras are made, the fans are made. But I think the main main basics are not done properly by the you know the previous AIFF uh, regimes. I hope this regime does something th- like that and yeah. brings the right you know footballing culture to India. I they've come out on the right foot. See, we don't. Um, ever judge a book by its cover. The cover is really good. Yeah. And when really good means the vision is really great in 2047. But achieving the vision needs a plan. But not only plan, it needs from backward planning where you need to be in 2035, 2030, 2025. And that way, make sure you're achieving those goals. So when exactly. you're saying you want to qualify for the Under-17 mm-hmm. World Cup in merit, on merit boys and girls, then you need to have an Under-14 team right now. Because after two years, they need to be the best four in Asia under 16 AFC to be able to qualify for the under 17 World Cup. So you, you can't think that you start under 16 dates will come out and then 10 days before that you start making your team and qualify. It's not going to happen. And that's why the problem is. That's been what we have been doing. That's you know, Samjo, Matlab, kya ho gaya pata hai? Matlab, abhi ek saal mein ho raha tournament. To bhai, abhi team ikhatta karo, so exposure tour pe bhejo. Bhai, kya exposure tour pe bhejo? Matlab, kya, matlab, kya hi kar lenge exposure tour pe bhej ke? So it has to be every year for five years, not one year mein paanch baari five different tours. Exactly. Inka budget aaya 20 crore ka, to 20 country bhej do. Yehi ho raha hai. Yehi ho raha hai. Matlab, matlab, yehi ho raha hai. The under 17 of India has a good uh, tour like going to uh, Atlantico Madrid, I think they're playing tonight. Yeah, tonight. Yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the match has started already. Uh, and so he's got Minerva, Minerva has got two Akash. boys in the yeah, Akash two. and Dhanaj. Yeah, two Dhanajit also made it. So he's also traveling. And he's, the, the right back, the right back, yeah, right? left, left back. Uh, yeah, the right back. I remember, yeah. I remember. So, what do you think about the chances good. this time? At least not for the World Cup, like at least for the you know, Asian Cup. Good chances. Uh, we have a good team, but yeah. I hope Bibiano stays. Because I've heard things like, you know, Bibiano might be going after the tournament. I really hope he stays because whenever he's um, given results, I mean, being with any team, junior teams, he's given results. Yeah. So, yeah. anyone who's done that and has got that experience needs to be given a longer rope. Yeah. And I think he has done, uh, you know, <laughs> tremendously well with the team, what he has right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He, he, he has lost many matches, but the way the team is playing, like, uh, you know, the cohesion is there. And the, yep. they are doing the right things. I hope he stays. I really hope that he stays. And also, to forgetting in the national team is like a camp or something. I've heard from some players they have to go to a camp, and then after the camp, it can take like few months, long months. I think two. He said five, seven was, months even. Yeah, before that the, was what's happening before because the last regime had these people who were interested in making money from the camps. Now, hopefully, yeah. it changes and it's a proper. Hopefully, there's a proper scouting procedure and people are taken over a performance of a year, not just one tournament. Yeah. And that's what it should be. Oh, that's I a think, great question by, by yeah. Bun Top. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully, we do qualify. Look, things are looking good if we win the next two matches, which we have, and we should do it. Um, but the whole point is that uh, why I'm really happy is if, because for the first time, an I League team has gone up, even though it's my previous team, and I'm, I'm part to uh, also 
claim success because the players who were playing in that team, uh, three, four of them are from my academy and three, four of them were scouted by me, people like Chencho and Limbu, uh, Kiran Limbu and all those guys. So it was a great experience that they've been, they are the first team to go through and that was my fight from the very beginning that we have to have promotion. Now, if this happens, I mean, they've still not gone through, but if they do go through and this happens as a regular affair and they start relegation, things are only going to get better after that. Yeah, I think so. I, thanks for mentioning Chencho, by the way. I was a big fan when he used to play for Minerva because he used to, they used to call him the Bhutanese Ronaldo. I had seen him play against Sri Lanka when he scored a very good goal and suddenly I'm seeing that he's signed up for Minerva. Then I'm checking all the news about Minerva, which because this was a new team, I think it was like what by yeah. back six it years was, back. It was our second year in the I League. Yeah, and, and you won that. Got, you won that year. Then, yeah, and we won that year, and I, I did a money ball. So and I actually chart. looked at. I did four hundred and so it's recorded four hundred twenty plus hours of uh, looking at videos and tapes and Instat and Vice Scout. And uh-huh. I got these players. All these players: William Apoku was nineteen, Chencho at that time was twenty. Uh, Kiran Limbu was unknown goalkeeper from Nepal. Yeah. Then uh, Dano was my centre back, and then there was another guy who was Asian, but uh, he came for four months and he left. So all these guys who came in um, were Atsushi Yogamo. So all these guys who came and left, uh, so who came in, they nobody knew them in India, and yeah, exactly. they were unknown. Yeah. And the reason I had got them was because I didn't have a budget as well. So. It's not that they were just great players. They were also available for cheap because no one gave them a chance. But now, the same players, Limbu and Chencho and all are costing a bomb. They're taking, <laughs> they're taking 20 times the salary they took from me. So, it's opened up. You don't look. So, that's mean, that just shows. You don't look at players by their nationality. You look at players of how good they are. Exactly. So, I used to see that they used to lose to China 6-0, 6-1. Japan 7-2 and you know Korea 6-2 and the two goals or one goal used to be scored by Chencho. So yeah, if he can yeah. score against China and if he can score against Korea, definitely if you give him a good team, he'll be really, really good. Exactly. And, and I was like, uh, I think uh, after winning the I-League, the team got disbanded or you know, you, I think you no, sold no, no. the team. No, I, no, no, no. At that time, Mohan Bagani's Bengal used to pay people like Sunny Node and they were in the same league as us, Mohan Bagani's yeah. Bengal. Yeah. So, he used to pay Sunny Naughty something like 4 crores. My entire budget was 1.4 crores. <laughs> yeah. So, my entire team next year was bought by either East Bengal or Mohan Bagan. Uh, I lost 14 players to them. Yeah, the yeah. The Indians, they all went. Yeah. That's what yeah. happens to any small club. Exactly. It's yeah. it's it's just... And the next year, I had AFC. So, all I had to do was make sure I get a good, solid team. And we did really well in the AFC that we didn't lose for the first five matches. I mean, we yeah. were unbeaten. Even in the sixth match, we got a goal scored against in the 92nd minute. So, I yeah. knew that we didn't have the resources to compete, but we competed very, very well. Till the last match, we were in for qualifying. A- a- AFC, the Asian... A- a- yeah. AFC Cup. Yeah, yeah, it's a- like a a- Europa a- League. Of, you know, it's like a Europa League. So, we, a- really? we, we get, as champions of I-League, we got a playoff against Iranian club for the AFC Champions League. We went to Iran, we lost that cha- match. Then we got into the AFC Cup, where even an ISL team, Chennai and FC, was in our group. Yeah. We, drew, we drew both our matches against Chennai and we drew both our matches against the Nepal team. We drew one match uh, at home against Bangladesh, which is a very, very good team. And now, um, and lost in the 93rd minute when they scored against us. So, it was a great experience for the boys yeah. because we went to the Asian level and the boys who were playing with me were all 15 and 16. We scored. So, we, we've still got the record for the youngest ever scorer in the AFC Cup, Toyba Singh. He's yeah. yes. He's, yeah. Imagine. And then he I got the record for the youngest ever debut. So, no player at that age had ever played here. And by the way, yeah. the record for the youngest ever scorer in the I League is still ours. So, it's, it was uh, Bodo and then first it was Thapa, then it was Bodo, Bodo. and then it was, and then it was Himanshu Jangra. Yeah. And so, why? Because if you blood these players at this age, they will prove you right. And now, look how fast their progression is. Exactly. Because all my juniors who are good enough 15, 16, 17, they play with my senior team on a daily basis. That's great. Because I saw I saw that, you know, the pump in Chencho, he was like, he was playing for Minerva, then he went to, I think, Kerala Blasters. No, Bengal he went to Bangalore. Bangalore, 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 Bangal
yeah, yeah. He, yeah. and uh, uh, there is one more question that uh, regarding intercontinental cup today they re- released the schedule what do you think about it the what teams is, what is the schedule bro uh, i mean the, 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 they will be playing in june 9 the, the fifa window which comes in june uh, <clears throat> 9 to 19 and the teams are vanatao the teams like Mo- Mo- mongolia and lebanon okay so by the way Vanuatu is a small, very small island company, a uh, country in the country, Pacific. Yeah. Vanuatu's coach, last coach was our coach uh, in the I League, the in the AFC Cup as well. Mm-hmm. And then from here he went there. Now he's uh, he's an English guy. Now he's he's the one responsible for making them a good, solid team. But I think with a team with Igor Stimak, the what he's doing for our team right now. if he is given even one month with the team we will win the intercontinental cup now if he is given 10 days with the team hmm. <laughs> so they are, i think they have a big gap over here they yeah. should be giving him yeah so why they not be giving, so, yeah. yeah why not yeah. yeah so because points man last time you did so well right now in this tri nation cup you yeah. moved up five rankings you yeah. do this again you move up five more rankings is the first time in your lives you are 95 man Exactly. Well, I mean, first time in your life means at least in the last twenty, thirty years. <laughs> More than that, I guess. Yeah, so so mm. yeah, the only only threat is Lebanon, in my opinion. But, yeah, yeah, but see, that, that's the advantage we have playing at home. So yeah. I think even if you win the other two and we uh, we are able to <clears throat> d- dominate and beat them, even I I really think, see, we can. I'm just saying prediction, prediction, कर रहा है अरुण कि हम सबके साथ draw करेंगे. नहीं यार, I really hope not. But the kind of football we play is not going to be a draw now. Uh, yeah. either we either we lose or we we'll win because we give too many chances <laughs> still we still give it too many chances yeah but we but we create chances as well yeah it's been the it's been the scenario right uh, so because see we have been creating chances we have been creating yeah. which is yeah. a very good thing we need to be little clinical that that's the yeah. thing we have to be a bit clinical oh relegation should not wait for 16 team the more you delay relegation the more you put development in the back seat anyway it's on the back seat right now so it's like कुछ नहीं तो यही सही वो वाला सीन है बट देन इट वोंट बी हैविंग ट्रू एक्चुअली माइंडसेट इज राइट ब्रो दैट इट्स इट्स द मोर यू डिले इट द मोर दिस थिंग ऑफ जस्ट बीइंग देयर एंड नॉट डूइंग इन एनी डेवलपमेंट कम्स इन या तो आई थिंक अभी इट्स इट्स लाइक जो मिल रहा है वो ले लो वो वाला सीन है इंडिया के साथ में अब कुछ तो मिल रहा है पहली बार नहीं तो कुछ मिल ही नहीं रहा था भाई <laughs> वही तो था पहले पहले प्रेसिडेंट से मीटिंग करने के लिए बात करने के लिए 4 4 महीने का टाइम लेना था वो भी नहीं मिलता था No, no. The the thing is, uh, the the president or the vice president, they are replying to the normal guys. Even even I had a small chat with them. Uh, even my friend, they, they had a small chat with them, which is a But good because, thing. Because because now for the first time in the history of Indian footballer, a footballer is in charge. Exactly. It, it, in the first time in eighty five years, so he he knows what it means to pains, and so he can he's reachable, he's accessible, and doesn't look like it's some maharaja sitting there on top thinking he's better than everybody else. He knows that he's like one of us, and he's there. to serve indian football and i think it's a great thing so as yeah. long as he keeps doing this it's brilliant man it's i mean only good things can come yeah it was like yeah. previous yeah. jam was like prajesh is right uh if <coughs> sadly if we don't give you the passport you should leave bro because uh, at least it's yeah, start, uh, you've done your job ever. you've done your job and now what happens is this this conversation goes on and i i really hope fingers crossed you go and become a superstar and then they the indians again kick ourselves on the back that oh my god this boy was going to come to us and look what we did it's, it's, been, mean, the they, they it's should, been the they story they should they should they should at least reply right? they should at least reply i don't think they should give me a pass but they should at least acknowledge my presence i mean they haven't uh, contacted me or even say something i mean this is bizarre been, i've been retweeting all of this and hopefully they do reply man but i think um they have been replying to you oh, for other than things than more than them we shouldn't care about them you should care about the millions of fans who have replied to you and the love messages yeah. you've got exactly them. tremendous support you've got from them don't care about them care about what you can do for the country what not what the fa can do for you simple as that and you've done what you had to do and now it's on them the onus is on them so there's nothing to be bitter about you did your job you didn't yeah. leave any stone unturned you did everything yeah. which had to be done and now if that's not f- possible then you can't fret over it you need to make the best of the situation which is still possible by the way yeah for example triman uh, i've been talking to a couple of clubs and hopefully 
if uh, one of the clubs which we've been talking to does really well in the Reliance League and they get forward, they can sign him. So, like, at least because uh, though uh, two OCI players can be signed by yeah. these ISL clubs, yeah. Acha, okay. Th- th- this is what I wanted to ask. Uh, suppose he wants to for an ISL club, or suppose he wants for, to play for, for Reliance. Reliance. Yeah, for okay. the Reliance Developmental League, he can sign two OCI players, uh, or PIOs can sign for a club. Okay. Suppose yeah. he wants to play in the ISL, then what has to do? He then he'll he come in as a foreigner. Yeah, he'll play as a foreigner provision. Acha. Which is very tough for him to do at this age. He he might do it. A couple of two more two more years down the line, he might just do it. But right yeah. now, at this age, it's very tough for him to do it because he's got no um, experience at the senior level. It's not that he's not good enough. He's good enough now to get it because he's 18. Now he should get into the senior team. But but the thing it was never my motive. But just I saw only just mainly the national team. So even if I sign as a foreigner, it just doesn't feel as I have accomplished what I wanted by coming to India. Not saying I won't be proud, but the main thing was just playing in that blue jersey and this that I was dreaming about. And what was the main um, motivation by for coming to India? So yeah, let's see um, how it goes. I mean, I did everything what I could and uh, what is in my hand, but uh, what's not, I cannot control. Like uh, Sir said. Yeah, it's like the thing is right now. India is like a coal engine machine. You know, it's still running on coal. The world is running on like you know <laughs> the the world is having Ma- fast machines, stuff like that. You know. Uh, but still, the Indian machine is running, you know, still, you know, they don't my, care my about uncle, their players. My, my like uncle that. one time said, God is running India. Nobody can run India. God is running India at this yeah, moment. It's like, it's like that. The government it's chaos, is like that. Yeah. You know, can't do anything yeah, about it. it. Um, uh, so, there is, a, there is a good question I would like to ask. Because I don't like to answer this one. So, do you think Egos Sarang is the right man to lead Indian football? Many, many people ask this one. Yeah, right now, yes. Why? Because uh, it will be the worst thing you do, changing the coach at this moment now. You have to give the if you've given now you give bet see then you give him time he gives you results, give him more time he gives you results no problem. You have to base your decision on the results. When everyone was hating him, it was because India was not doing well. Now India wants to get behind him because he's doing well for the Indian team, and if we, we need to keep supporting the team, if we keep support when the team it means the coaching staff and the coaches and everybody else. When if something doesn't happen according to our standards and we think, oh my God, this is not right, then we can take off on him. Otherwise, I think full support to him right now, and I really hope that he does. Uh, the last thing I want to do is, you know, try to even pull the rug out from his under his feet because this time he needs all 1.4 billion hand supporting him because he is our coach right now, and mm. we need to support our coach. It's a later thing what we do after the Asian Cup, but till then, he's the best thing. Yeah. Uh, so I think Minerva can, but I think Delhi FC and yeah, Tetro... no. So Minerva can. We had a non-compete clause with Round Glass for three uh-huh. years. The three years okay. are finished. Now we start competing in senior football again. So okay. if things go well and if we want to, we can mm-hmm. actually come from Minerva as well as well because Minerva is a different club altogether, playing in the Punjab Senior Super League state mm-hmm. senior. It's also Asha. senior team, for Minerva. I thought yeah. it only was an academy. No, no, no. So Minerva plays in the Punjab Super League. So, 90% of the players you who, who are in both the teams were playing in the... You can play for two clubs in a year. So, all the boys you see playing uh, either in Dectro or for Delhi FC or for Himachal FC or for other clubs, they all were part of the Punjab Super League. Mm-hmm. For example, okay. Janio. Okay. So, there, there is a transfer rumour. It's like most like it's done uh, as per yeah, my so sources. What are the views on that? Your sources are almost right. It's almost done. It's I mean... See, just technical and medical things are left, but hopefully, yes, we are going to see him in the maroon, the maroon and green, and Joy Mohan Bagan because Anwar is going to be going to join Mohan Bagan. And by the way, this is the first time I've actually said it out loud in any talk show. <laughs> the, the thing is, uh, the thing I think it's due time that Mohan Bagan you know keeps up his legacy, but it's been like a few bad years for them. Especially in the ISL, they have been getting battered. They have been getting, you know, moved. Yeah, but hopefully now with the coach coming in and he's got his one and a half, two years, one and a half years now, and with the new signings coming in, I think he should do well because they lost. I think the defense got a little screwed up when they lost Sandesh Jingan this side yeah. this year, and that's why there was a little wobble. But with the Anwar coming in, uh, I think it should hold up. And this coach has played with Anwar. That's why you know they like him so much. He's played with Anwar before in FC Goa. Yeah, FC Goa. And yeah, right. So it, it suits their 
in fact uh, I, was, yeah. I was talking to manveer and manveer was loving the idea because he's saying now i'm going to get every ball same every long ball uh, diagonal ball to my feet and i'll be able to cut in and shoot <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every every i think every striker would love a ball playing defender back seriously yeah. it's a, it's the kind of dream you can say I can agree. but i think they I are very agree. close in signing jason coming also uh, i had a, i had a talk with his agent also then he was like he didn't give about the technical stuff but he said like yeah there is a big bid from mohan bagan there is a bid from mumbai city fc also but mohan bagan is leading the race so i already oh, tweeted wow. regarding this one yeah but might be they like it's it's very very close it's very close it's like imminent right now so if they pull out if, this transfer if oh my god it's huge yeah it's going to be huge it's going to be huge if they plot this transfer there are just small clauses which has to be you know looked out uh then after that it's like just bank i guess manveer on the right on the left it will be you know jason kamen it's it's going to be very scary if you want to play mohan bagan it's going to be scary for any other team and they're True. going to invest heavily in the local players also i mean i'm talking about the indian players like they have invested heavily in anwar they are looking for more players right now in the you know the domestic oh, that's great uh, that's great that means they're looking at for for the long term because yeah yeah they are yeah, and multiple year contract it's not like a for her coming mm-hmm. for one year or two it's like multiple year contract so True. it's going to be huge True. yeah uh, arun so said how's the world cup batch going and that's growing very well we are preparing and we are training every day um hopefully we do really well we are going to sweden to play in the world youth cup which is the oh. kothia cup and it's over oh, 100 countries 7000 kids so we'll again from after the mina cup get a step higher go there and see where we stand and hopefully we give a good performance the best ever at least by an indian team um and then the next is that why we don't why punjab fc is playing in De- uh, trying to play in delhi no 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 it's the delhi fc is trying to play in punjab right now <laughs> <laughs> delhi fc is the one trying to play in punjab now punjab fc round plus punjab is trying to play there why because in punjab there is not even one football stadium there's one in jalandhar which is now a crpf camp which is the only dedicated stadium where people like jarnail singh inder singh and all used to play the one in ludhiana which minerva used to use has got athletic ground track around it like all other stadiums in india do and it's not a football stadium up to the standards of isl i would say so and they are talking about delhi because that's the nearest stadium of that standard we have in north india which is a shame in fact think- in chandigarh punjab <laughs> chandigarh punjab haryana Hima- uh, himachal uttarakhand there's not even one turf not one not even one turf i think yeah, i think in terms of this in terms of this the south is doing better if you look at mumbai right now they have been doing a world class stadium they have a world class rugby stadium which can be tur- turned into a football stadium also and if you go down south bangalore is doing great stadium is very good and uh, down kerala we have good stadiums but lack of proper infrastructure stuff like that tamil nadu now fc madras coming in suddenly with a big uh, you know stadium like brilliant. a world class stadium they have done last yeah. brilliant i love it yeah. and i think thing- see what we should have had was what i'm sad about is tfa tata football academy yeah not since jamshedpur has come in they have produced zero players for the country and that was our holy grail that was our mother factory so now yes we are producing it but it can't be one tfa or then that finishes then minerva then that finishes somebody we need 100 tfas or 100 minervas and then we have a talent pool so yeah. everyone has to invest heavily on in the youth and it will always pay dividends I think I think Classic FA is also doing good. Is of yeah, Classic is actually Niroka. So ah, Niroka, achha. so Niroka, okay. when we were playing in the I League, when Katsumi Yusa and all were playing yeah. for Niroka, that time it used to be owned by Classic Group of companies. Now uh-huh. at that time, Niroka's full form is North Eastern Regional Organisation Cultural Org- Association. So it was an yeah. association team. Yeah, yeah. Now the association has taken back the team. So Niroka team now playing for the last three four years is the association team. Uh-huh. Classic set up its own academy. Academy, came up from that batch, from that batch, and now have even the senior team in the Manipur League, which they are doing really well in. So they are also doing a great job. The only ones in Manipur, I would say, who got a, a proper uh, residential academy there. Mm-hmm. So, uh, which are the top five academies you would place? Like seriously, if you if you really want to push someone, go to academies, take proper so, training. Obviously, Minerva. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then um, i would say uh, bangalore fc i would say um, with with the facilities i don't know now about what's going to do but facilities mm-hmm. of fc madras wow mm-hmm. 
facilities of zinc academy wow mm-hmm. and even results are pretty good results are also very good yeah. in current and then i would say these are uh, gokulam has a decent academy but i would just say this you know, is so difficult for me to even think of other academies who are full year round residential acha reliant full year round no full year round residential is minerva and bangalore fc only mm. two 365 days a year okay okay, okay. then you have places like reliance and um, zinc and all which are around 8 months a year okay everybody else is like 2 months 3 months 2 months 3 months acha this is the same okay um, and the three level in the in because the i get lot of questions regarding i get lot of questions regarding academies by ki matlab kaun sa academy acha hai mm-hmm. so like academy suppose if i if, if See, i want... tell you it's not about what we are falling back as indians is not in academies in football technical skill again like i said decision making that comes yeah, from yeah. intelligence so all our good footballers are unpar most of them why because they're from all sports hostels yeah so yeah sports hostel yeah. mein padhai nahi hoti hai ji what we at minerva do we make sure that education is as important as that uh, exactly because if they do not grow their brain no matter what we teach them is not going to get through exactly so nothing tactical and technical if you don't understand 2 plus 2 simple <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that is what we focus on that's why my boys are even if they supposed to have no career in football they get injured they uh, don't want to carry football on anymore they can go and be as good as any 17 18 year old who studied all his life in a convent school hmm. that's i think the future and that's why minerva does so well and it's very important it's, football is football iq is not only about football you have to have yeah. iq about uh, the surrounding things also everything yeah. it's about yeah. going so nutrition diet recovery all these things are taught at this and this thing um bbfs isn't yeah utpal said is bbfs no bbfs isn't bbfs is a franchise it's all over india and all over india also they can't make one good team which can compete in the i leagues okay and they have at least 100 centers so it's totally money making yeah yes and uh, right reliance lost to 110 school to a school team in japan yeah and by the way they have they have one of the best training facilities in india but that's reliance but the point is that बेंगाल why because they are all ili clubs yeah. and they've gone to the isl now yeah. so they had a legacy of having their own academies which exactly. all three had okay mm-hmm. other than them how many players have they produced zero zero and the two players i mentioned earlier akash mishra and sahel are not from their academies are from either from germany or from uae yeah yeah so the development cannot happen why because for example if minerva is producing a player no matter what i do if Bangalore uh, sorry if Mumbai city wants to produce the same player they've got better facilities better grounds better money better exposure to us so they can produce actually a better player than me if they want to but they don't and i and i i should be happy about it why because i have a monopoly i can go and keep selling players all my life but my indian country my country will india will not go forward man we need everyone to be doing what i'm doing then we have a chance exactly it's, it's it's like that it's like that and this is this is a great uh, this is a great comment and it's this is true that japan school is in transfer market their school are part of the premier yes they are because the college team players get transferred into the clubs even international you know international clubs we are talking about because i true. think uh, muto was part of it also i think uh, the guy who plays in brickton right now who has taken a degree in dribbling I don't. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't Albion, have any idea. Albion. He plays in Albion. Yeah, yeah. Britain have Albion. Yeah. His name is what? Um, right. Yeah. Kauro, yeah. something like that. He has taken yeah. a degree in dribbling. He has written thesis on dribbling. I mean, the way he dribbles the ball in Britain, he has been taking that team to a different level, man. Seriously. So this is the thing about you know he, Japan. He, he had he had an offer. He had an offer from a professional club. He denied and he finished his university yeah. first. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, man. Exactly. So this this shows See, the dedication. They've, they've got. yeah exactly dedication 
they are different education i have seen school teams play here japanese school teams always they come here to sharja fc they have a big tournament also here they are thrashing the teams left and right even the teams from america are getting thrashed by japanese small kids the height is very small but right. the technical their ability their vision the vision so Mind vision blowing. was 2100 and 2050 so they had a 100 year vision and then they had a 50 year vision 100 years means they were planning for their grandkids the people who were not even born yet <laughs> yeah that's the planning required and then you need to work backwards so they've got these india has gone away of at least planning till 2047 first time good Was and somebody somebody said rgfc will play in delhi stadium will go empty the whole season yeah football talks you're totally right it will happen because even then <laughs> it's very difficult filling out crowds here in punjab also for them uh, and it's not just saying that it's just even uh, the ipl ipl teams here like kings 11 punjab always have a problem yeah i think Filling yeah it's, it's it's going to be same uh, let the uh, one more comment uh, i would like to say that the good clubs get foreigners at prime age most foreigners in india are 30 plus this is this is changing bit by bit i guess right this is changing bit by bit yeah it is it depends it depends ki bhai kaun sa player chahiye aapko you want big names i'll tell you i'll tell you bhai abhi hum pehle se jo shuru hua tha isl to hum leke aaye the 50 saal wale then 48 then 45 yeah bro roberto carlos and all those guys they yeah. you know, he was 42 42 43 not 50 okay that's okay 42 43 and, uh, we had diego forla like, yeah Okay. Yeah, and yeah. now yeah four land four land was there <laughs> yeah, now yeah, gone land. down gone down now we've come to 30 don't worry in 5 years we'll reach to 25 also yeah yeah i think i think i think, uh, I think jason coming is also something yeah like 29 jason he's coming. 29 jason coming is 29 and uh, yeah there are players see it's like you need a proper scout I matlab mean, like just you're watching youtube compilations and bringing in players it's it's going to be a problem for you that that's yeah. been the se- I, scene of scouts in india that's been the scene also, of scouts in india True. There also been one uh, Belgium, Belgium uh, defender, the captain of North East, who I uh, personally have spoken to a few times, and he's from Liège, uh, Benjamin Lambo. I don't know if you know him. He was um, a captain uh, in the COVID season. He was captain of North East United, the Belgian. K Gaming has just given us the news that India is leading Atletico Madrid one zero. Oh, boy, sir, that's a great thing. That's a great thing. Well, this is this is this is the thing. Yeah, we are going somewhere. We are heading somewhere. We are heading somewhere. And this is the what do you say? A little bit of a glimpse of it. that uh, we are, yeah we are going to do something in future sure so isiliye the future is bright and we should keep at it and we should not give up man mm-hmm. so i think at the marketing perspective aapka jo marketing marketing perspective hai iske upar kya matlab indian football ko jaise abhi dekho normal ipl match even if you are not supporting you are watching it like 2.1 crore people watching it more than 2 crore people watching is sometimes and indian football official indian football national team is playing see i'll tell you on youtube it's like 30 to 40000 no i'll tell you we'll get views when we start beating people if we win a few more i mean few more mindset comes in that we can beat we can beat and we start beating good countries people will start watching indians love champions indians love to see winners we don't like seeing indians who are losing yeah. we started see understand this cricket race came after the world cup of 83 Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Before that, it was they were they were popular, but they were not like godlike creatures. Yeah, After yeah. After three, they're godlike creatures, because my God, we are the best in the world. Same yeah. way, Neera Chopra is a godlike creature. Oh my God, yeah. why? Because yeah. he's the best in the world. Yeah. Anybody who does very well for India and becomes a champion, oh my God, he's God for us. So people know that, and once we start winning, and footballers know that this is the kind of stardom we will get, you'll see they the start hunger. working harder. The hunger will come. Yeah. In. and it see if this happening so we've got the under 17 team going and competing with atletico madrid and they've got one of the best youth systems in the world atletico madrid yeah so i think yeah uh, it's going to be uh, we are really under estimating thailand from where not even they... thailand by i think yeah you were right so i was going to say i was saying vietnam also but you said in the next line well done <laughs> yes they're going to become the next vietnam everyone who focuses on grassroots will do well simple yeah so mindset is right good scouting plus good coaching is equal to miracle so there is no miracle na it's not rocket science that's what i keep saying it's not rocket science teaching football from uh, the right football at the right age from uh, the age of 7 6 7 8 9 will give you results 10 years down the line when they're 16 17 18 simple as that exactly. not rocket science. 
under 17 team has taken lead against l3 comedy which is good how much do you think this tour will help us in preparing massively i think this tour will really help us in terms yeah. of asian cup in terms of every game i we are playing the bundesliga sides also i hope it's borussia dortmund and i hope it's bayern munich we play uh, i don't know which teams we are playing but there is news that we are playing two bundesliga teams so bundesliga it's like level, so I, I i think win or Deep lose level. play yeah play in a way that yeah, you know crazy. going forward ki bhai dekhne ke mein maza aaya bas like enjoy your game enjoy your game that's it and i think if you are playing against borussia and uh, bayern munich it's different kind of like like uh, sir told here they have a very good you know system see india and under, uh, under 20 beat argentina under 20 when they yeah. just come from winning the world cup with the anwar ali goal and by oh, the way that, that free kick <laughs> and that time can it be the new coach of argentina under 20 was kaluni kaluni yeah <laughs> went on the world cup. Yeah. yeah yeah it was he was the new coach and we beat them and it was such a great moment and the same day we had i think beaten iraq or somebody else in the under 16s so yeah. these kind of things are happening at that level this is where we stop because 17 mein oh my god isl club komal satkal khareed ke bitha liya to aur na le lo khatam hai exactly wohi ho raha I think okay, guys, also, so I I I have to go for yeah. another thing. So I'm going to leave. But uh, Triman and you guys have to continue and do surely, your thing. Surely, surely. Continue. Thank and you so much. So, thank you so much for having me, and it's awesome being on Playmaker. <laughs> Now, before going, uh, coming back to Triman issue, at least we've been able to raise the issue. What we want, we started a petition, and I know you guys will share the petition later on in the links below. And yeah. please do that. Please go and sign the petition. The petition is not for three men; it's for all OCI members, uh, uh, card holders or passport holders who want to come back to India and want to give up their passport. Why is it so difficult to give up your European passport for getting an Indian passport when you have Indian blood, when your father and your mother are Indian and they've just migrated there, and you want to come back play for your home country? We've heard of brain drain, but this is ridiculous. Our brains have gone there; they've become great, and they want to come back and. <laughs> And so it should not only be here. We we'll have Indians in other fields, like they may be great physicians and physical therapists, or phys, uh, you know, or even properly other fields like engineers who want to come back to India and want yep. to get this. So we have to make it easy for them. We don't have to make it difficult for them. For example, if I marry, my wife will kill me, but I will not because I have a wife. Okay. So if I marry, if I marry a U.S. citizen, I get a bloody green card in five years. I get U.S. citizenship. Yeah. Yeah, here I know players like Aruta, uh, 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 Aruta Zumi, uh, Aruta Zumi, who married an Indian, couldn't get a six for six years. Also, then I have players like Bala Hasan and Kareem who have ma- married Indians. Even Kroma has married an Indian and been applying for Indian passport for the last seven, eight, nine years and not been able to get a passport, even though they married Imagine an me. Indian. <laughs> Imagine long so, it's going to take me. Yeah. Yeah, and no, uh, Truman, don't worry. I'm not telling you to marry any Indian. <laughs> 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 yes, if you fall in love, yes, but don't just no, no, no. because that's what. By the way, that's what Indians do when you want yeah. to go abroad. You want to marry that for easy, the past. Easy, easy. I don't, I don't, I don't, do I don't think. Awesome. I don't. I don't think it's going to be easy when until I'm going to get the Indian passport. They don't want to come with me. Then if I have the girls, you have some leverage on them. Yeah, you might get. You might get the girls going there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so we need to make it easy. So we need everyone to sign and share its petition because we reach a certain level. We'll be able to reach out to the right people to have a debate in the parliament, and that's what we need. We need a debate on this, and we make it easier for people like Triman, because tomorrow or day after tomorrow, that means after two years, three years, Triman may be the next Ronaldo, Messi, or people like Triman may be the next Ronaldo, Messi, and we may miss out on them. Because yeah. we don't have a good passport system. Oh my God, that will be a crime. A big crime, sir. So, thank you so much, guys. Yeah, thank you so much, guys, for having me. Thank you, Triman. Thank you so much, Playmaker. I'm awesome being here, man. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank, thank you, you so much. See you. And, uh, and, and any time, Musavir, I'm always here for you guys. Hey, yeah. thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. You. It's it, it means a lot. It means a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you for. Ah. Uh, So it's 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 very ridiculous. Like seriously, because we yeah. Indian, you know, there are many you know people who go out, you know, to America, to Canada, get married over there, yeah. try to get a passport, stuff like that. So it's very easy. Like in one year, two year, three years, they are getting the green card, stuff like that. They are citizenship automatically. But in India, it's very difficult. I don't know because there there are you know some security reason. I I understand on that part. There are security yeah. reasons. 
which we don't allow most of the things because of the neighbors and stuff but yeah we have to do something regarding the sports at least regarding the I sports think, i because, think i yeah. think when you have a good background check and you're like for me i don't think i'm any threat to the indian government or the indian country as a well, whole but i think if there's a good security check i don't think there's any issue i think if there's not uh, the enough information about the person where he's from for the date i think then you shouldn't but i mean what can i do wrong or have a separate section for players like me who want to come and just uh, for sports person or like professionals that want the indian passport or something like that so i think they should i mean we ha- we have to carve a pathway in my opinion we have to pa- yeah. carve a pathway the, now, where, you know, now, like, now now the main now the main issue is like i have an oci card like um, everybody knows and when i went to the apply with home affairs so I, first was embassy dc um postal office and then home affairs and then when i went to the home affairs online i applied and they said you have to be five years oci holder which i personally think is um a bit weird because i think what's the difference between somebody who has a, like one year or two years or three years still an ovc citizen and i currently have it like two two years maybe almost three and i have to have it for five years to apply for citizenship which also is going to take a while then you have to be a citizen for a certain amount of time in india when you can apply for a passport which also could take like ages so i mean it doesn't seem worth it for any player i mean i'm just a kid I, like i said and uh, imagine if uh, imagine if a player coming from the premier league or something like a good team um, why would he even want to wait six weeks so that's where my uh, issue is Yeah, yeah so currently right now um uh, yeah currently right now india is leading 3-0 3-0 against atletico madrid a quality side we are leading to and just now shashwat panwar has scored for india the score is 3-0 at the stadium and we are you know it's it's been a rock solid first half for india at least mm-hmm. and uh, in the hero super cup games it's been running riot i think north east is running riot 5-2 Five two uh, against Churchill Brothers, and I don't know about the other game. I think their uh, Mumbai City is leading I, against I, Chennai FC one zero. Yeah. The the main reason I can think why India is winning it's mainly because of the mentality. I can give you ex- uh, example. One time we with my academy in Spain, we went to uh, Spain, and um, the teams I think personally had more quality or better. But I think the team that is coming there with a plan, with a goal, and just the mentality and just knowing you come all this way and just not to lose i think yeah. that mentality beats quality exactly. it's the mentality that's causing them to win and we went to spain we played five games against quality teams we won all five and yeah i mean it's the mentality that beats the quality i think of course that goes more quality but they they came with a plan and they just see it as a friendly game just coming with their bus or coming with a bike to their team or just a local game for them so i think yeah. that's the main uh, di- difference to the two right. sides okay so uh, there is one goal pulled out by mm-hmm. atletico madrid is 3-1 right now 38th minute mm-hmm. 38th minute sorry so 3-1 the score is uh, like three man right now Can you see what, it live? no i'm not able to see it live i'm seeing the score update it's on twitter okay. yeah Yeah I was I was just asking you like what's what's your next plan right now like how much you've been training how how is the stuff going right now is it exhausting you know just training you know waiting for a passport stuff like that I just want to play a game uh it has been 3 months since I played a proper official game yeah I played a game like um you've seen exclu- exclusive videos of me playing yeah yeah yeah, yeah I'm yeah. not which I'm not going to share yet um I'm just going to wait for that uh, with all the people that are saying I'm just doing interviews and not playing um Musa Bai is my uh, informant on that <laughs> I I've, I've seen sure. I have seen him play bros I have seen him play you would love to watch him play for your team I I I would seriously to be honest uh, soon I think the videos will come out surely uh, yeah, for some more. reason uh, he's not yet you know putting it out but surely I, do, I just want to play more games and have um, better uh, like video you know it's just one game why i want to share that just make yeah. it longer and better and uh, i'll share yeah. the how many people are watching i can't uh, yeah i think i think around 12 to 13 12 to 13 that time because there is a hero super cup going on now 15 people uh, it's like that yeah so so uh, everyone is watching uh please go to my twitter and send a petition which is uh could be very useful as yeah. um i think we are close to 1k and please everybody share it's uh it could be a huge help so i'm all, almost at one case uh, signatures which i think is not enough i really expected much more so be part of the process and please share it and uh, 
make everybody you know sign it <laughs> and just uh, yeah let's see where we can like, take this like i have explained in my previous video also it's not about dual nationality bhai log it's about getting yeah. a right pathway for the oci card holder kya hota hai malum hai jaise maine bataya thode pehle videos mein bhi i don't know if triman is understanding i think i hope you understand answer, I, yeah. I, yeah, yeah so i i i spoke about a guy in my previous video he's he's also like same he, he wants to also you know uh play for india in the future he's just 15 16 but he's very you know you can say that he's just you know thinking about if 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 i go to india if i start you know playing football there it's very difficult with the uae passport it's very difficult for him to play for india and not, not for the indian clubs so he's like still waiting uh, for a perfect answer for a perfect you know pathway so that he can come not only him there are many players who are playing in the different leagues they just want a proper pathway now here triman is trying to do that for them now he he is being that you know what they say a proper uh, a man who is going to do that for them but well, if you get the Ro- passport Roma, if <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> if you get the passport if you get the you know your oc card turned into your passport so it will shove the lighting on that and all the players who was playing outside in the leagues yeah, they'll come back that, to that, that, that was the plan that was the plan i mean i yeah. don't know what they're doing it's they don't allow players with uh, or dual citizenship okay fine i mean this your uh, your rules we have to respect it when somebody wants to do what the thing you suggest them to do and then you treat them like this so i mean it's uh, yeah I think yeah uh, so some jab ek koi karta hai usko thoda sa support karne ki zarurat hai bahut log baat karte hain bhai PR kar rahe ho tum Triman ke liye PR karo I'll say I do that for anyone I'll do that for a person who is ready to do this who is ready and have that in courage ki bhai main karunga ye mujhe karna hai so I'll like, surely I'll do that for him I'll do 24 hours 7 PR for him is it for us to like the FIFA yet I mean huh? he's talking about football fan is I sell the FIFA sell Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Pro, you should join North East United Reserve side since they qualify for National Reserve League and get experience in playing for India. Let's see. That's that's the in a future plan. I hope he gets you know what he wants right now for for time being. After two three years, you might you might get because I think I have I have that you know what they say. Uh, I trust this AIFF regime, the current AIFF regime, that they will carve a proper pathway for the OCI card holders. I hope. Wh- which 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 teams have qualified? Uh, Mumbai City, I think. Have those? How many? Yeah, North East, North East, Mumbai City. Also, I think East Bengal. Lions. Yes. I, I, I need to check. Alliance, I need to check. Once Alliance, Alliance, Alliance won all the games. Of them. Ten, ten, yeah. yeah, they won every game. And the yeah. I think Alliance, uh, Mumbai City, I think also. So Mumbai City also, I don't know regarding Mumbai City. Uh, they are second in the group, so I don't think why they don't, or they won't be qualified. They are second in the group. I mean, of five, six teams, so I think they also qualified, or Achha. are going to qualify in the next few games. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what I'm sure of. I think, and I, like Bangalore and FC Go, I think that's normal. They're going to be qualifying in Eastman Goal, I think. Yeah, East Bengal is one of the. I think East Bengal is East Bengal is there. And Kolkata, yeah, I think. Yeah. Uh, super going, sorry. Yeah. In Intercontinental Championship, if India wins against Lebanon, then there are possibilities that India will be a hundred mark of FIFA ranking. Also, there. Are, yeah, yeah. Port yeah, two, not in the AFC Asian it. Cup. Not of the AFC Asian Cup. It will be for the FIFA World Cup qualifiers because already for the AFC Asian Cup, it's done. We are in the Port three. And your teams, we will get port one, port two, and port four. So we will get. So that's fixed. This, the games we will play henceforth, वो हमको help करेगी in FIFA qualifiers and the next AFC Asian Cup, जो कि 2027 में खेला जाएगा. How many rounds are in the FIFA qualifiers for the World Cup? Uh, for India, I think. We need to check because for India, I think. The the, one, the lower the three, ranking, the more qualifiers. Four, yeah, 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 yeah. Around five to five rounds, I guess. Yeah, around five rounds. Belgium only had like they had only played like five six only, teams. Yeah, that's it. Because the group stage, they play only the group stage yeah. and that's it. But India has to play the group stage, then the qualifiers. It's like that. So uh, here, my brother is saying that your rating will be seventy five. <laughs> if he forgot. In the in the foot cards, in the FIFA cards. <laughs> no, I'm even happy if I get a sixty <laughs> yeah. or fifty. Even. I just want to be in the game. Man. आप लोग को इंडिया का स्कोर कहाँ से दिख रहा है भाई ट्विटर से दिख रहा है भाई ट्विटर से दिख रहा है या ईडन हजार आई एक्सपेक्ट या ईडन हजार इज वन ऑफ हिस फेवरेट प्लेयर्स यू नो टू टू ग्रेस द फील्ड एवरी टाइम यू कम इन द क्लब यू हैव लाइक अ बिग पेंटिंग ऑफ हिम ऑन द वॉल लाइक रियली क्रेजी इट्स There's another brother. Killian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, yeah. plays for um, Arvidian. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I the think... the club is now owned by Hazard's father. So, fun fact. Ah, oh, okay. That's yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. It, because they had like financial issues, that's why I also left because they for lost their professional license. So then mm-hmm. um, they had to had to find an investor. I think something like that. Because first it was like an Indonesian man. We mm-hmm. we'll probably use the club as money laundering. <laughs> Achha, then he bought like yeah. probably Belgium, probably something like that, and then he ditched, and then they had to find the, like uh, investors or something like that. And then mm-hmm. he stepped in, and now it's like a collaboration of two uh, fusion of two cities, uh, to be and this brand, and they're now um, Royal to be's brand. It's one club now. Achha, okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> that's that's a great thing. Um, so what do you think? What do you think? Which Which team is going to you? Are, are you watching the football matches right now? You are watching Hero Super Cup and stuff. I've seen. Um, I think North North East won against uh, Mumbai City two one. I think if I'm right. No, no, not, not North East. Not North East. Yeah. I think. Uh, I think there was a team that won two one against Mumbai City. Yeah, it was in the, the previous match. I, did, I don't know it what it was. What? I uh, I forgot the matches also. It's very tough Super to Cup. remember. Super I think Cup it was Cup. it was not not the uh, northeast. Is what what is it? Uh, yeah, it was it was northeast. Yeah, it was northeast. Yeah, it was northeast. It was two one, I guess. Uh, football in Kashmir is also going great because IG Manoj Sinha sir and AFF body have decided to open an academy in Srinagar. Yeah, that's really great. I'm really excited and happy to see Real Kashmir FC. But Real Kashmir FC was a game changer in that valley. Because we yeah. had so many problems going on in the valley, 
God for case for second problems, but right now I think Real Kashmir is pulling out a great number of crowd. Also, they have been doing very good for the youth out there who really want to do something for Kashmir. And uh, I really want clubs like this, you know, Real Kashmir, and uh, then clubs like uh, now new new club, uh, which is in the new club. I forgot the name. Uh, FT Madras. FT Madras, and also there is one more club, uh, one Ladakh FC, one Ladakh FC, which. which these are clubs which is going to get game changer in Indian football. So I think this is going to change the face of Indian football in you know in coming years. All team in Asia has to play as much as India plays. Only rank twenty five and higher in Asia play an extra round. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, right. Uh, three months or please join MBSG. I will be very happy. I don't want to see against MBSG. I am a big fan of MBSG. <laughs> Nashad, if they send an, an, a contract and paper, he's ready to sign. <laughs> he's waiting with the pen. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, unlike uh, one certain club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> North East won against Mumbai. Yeah, it was 2 1, right? It was The score was 2 1. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, yeah that's the only one of us. So I think. I'm uh, too busy focusing on my training. I don't really bother watching it too much. Yeah, I just want I to know. see. Uh, it's not uh, easy to to keep you know track I, on everything. I, I look, I look. Even I watch it before. I watch every Champions League game. Now I haven't watched anything. I'm not interested. Just really focus on myself right now, and just thinking about look. For, before I go crazy watching Champions League now, I don't have the time to watch it. And I'm really tired of the time difference also because there are things around four o'clock, five o'clock, like a good time. Here's too late. I think man, I don't bother. I just want to go to sleep. I think tomorrow I have a session. I think I have to report like 4, 4 a.m. Ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's tough. It's tough being a footballer. It's tough being a coach too, by the way. <laughs> because yeah, it's a, it's coach has to come there at 3.30 o'clock. <laughs> no, 3.30 a.m. Yeah. So. And the coach has to be a player before he can be a coach. So he's gone yeah. through all the struggle and then uh, yeah, doing it all it's over tough, again. Man. It's tough, man. It's tough. It's yeah. tough, to be honest. It's not easy. The football business looks easy from the TV screen. It looks easy when you just watching from the stands. But when you're down there, no matter what you are, you are a you know a physiotherapist, you are a coach, you are assistant coach, you are whatever, a team manager, a team player. It's, pressure, it's tough. The pressure, it's tough. even yeah. Yeah, there, there's now, a lot of like pressure. Before, before when I played, nobody was watching. And even if my father was watching, it felt like a weight on my shoulder or something. Like if a mom were watching or something came. Imagine how many people are watching me now. I think if they're going to watch it, they have big expectations. Exactly. And that's going to be really heavy on my shoulders as I never felt anything like this. And yeah, let's see how I deal with it. I mean, I'm still young, so I have to see how I adapt to the game. And yeah, yeah. Right. only time will tell. Uh, I also wanted to play cricket, but my parents didn't allow me because of Kashmir's unpeaceful situation. Yeah, man. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. I'm really sorry for that, you know, uh, what happened in Kashmir. But I hope it changes very, very soon. I think there are changes happening right now. In current situation, Kashmir is. Is it, is it with the border thing? With, uh, China yeah, it, it's, yeah, yeah. No, no, not with the China, with Pakistan, with China, both both countries. You know? There has been a lot of unrest in that valley. Uh, it's a very beautiful place, to be honest. If you want to visit, it's a very beautiful place. It's called it's Heaven on Earth. Me, right? Yeah, it's not, it's far, not far. It's not that far. Not this ran riot tonight, 6 3 uh, against Churchill Brothers. Yeah, Jammu, Jammu, Jammu Kashmir is like, I think, exactly, four, it's same. It's three, same. four hours from yeah. my village from here. It's going to be probably eight, seven hours because I'm from I'm now in Chandigarh. Yeah, I'm happy about one football Ladakh. I'm also from Ladakh. Oh, nice, 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 Why is Ladakh? Very First time I hear about it. Where's Ladakh? Ladakh, it's it's a very beautiful place. It's like to the near the exactly. I I tell you exactly where it is right now. It's near near Kashmir, nearby Kashmir. Okay. You can say. Yeah. So it's in it's in the Jammu Kashmir state. Yeah. Raftar Raftar says now I'm dreaming for football. <laughs> uh, India and 73 won Atletico Madrid under 16. Yeah, bro. Yeah, seriously, man. They are doing very good. I hope we finish the match on high. I seriously hope that I we finish this match on high because this is the stepping stone of the you know exposure tour and uh, opening match against Atletico Madrid, winning 3-1. Then we have Real Madrid to play. We have Levante under 17 to play. I think uh, this is gonna turn into a very good, you know, uh, tournament for Indian, uh, you know, team under 17 team. Also, the thing I have seen um, Indian, like I have been to Spain three, four times um, because mm -hmm. it's like 
for me it's like uh, from belgium it's not that far also in europe you don't need a visa going to other countries if you're european so yeah, like I... it's the same distance from chandigarh to mumbai it's from brussels to uh, to madrid so i think it's like 1.7 uh, k kilometers so yeah I, i've been there three four times and um yeah it's really hot for me there even not really but it's like hot and now i see indian players going there wearing gloves yeah it's completely <laughs> crazy bro I'm, I'm i'm astonished bro even if i go there i'm wearing like this and you see all the white people wearing short shorts and such because it's so hot compared to belgium and such and then i see the india players going there and wearing gloves it's crazy and i see the temperature like 20 degrees 15 degrees which is still hot i mean i can't uh, think they will survive a day in belgium then so that's much colder there Oh, yeah, right. Um, in your border or China, Pakistan? Yeah, China and Pakistan. Yeah. No, not China and Pakistan. It's like ch- near China. Near China. Uh, AFC Champions League Cup will start. But AFC Champions League will start in August. Se shuru hogi, and uh, I think our matches will start in August. End se start honge. Mumbai City ke jo matches will start in August. End se so let's finish it here uh, yeah. we'll do one more live stream in the future no issue we'll be talking about more about your exposure what's going on with you and stuff so guys i'll be putting a link down there regarding and small initiative started by trivan ranveer regarding the oci card holders regarding not only him regarding every oci card holder out there who wants to represent india in the future so just go there you know it's a change.org link you have to just go there and vote for you know the right thing for the right cause read it once more and you know just do it so thank you just going to ask your name yeah it's just going to ask your name uh, last name and email address it's all you have to do you sign a petition and it's uh, all done for you have also option to write about why you signed the petition and what's your motive behind it so yeah please leave a kind message and uh, support and uh, let's see where it can take us thank you very exactly. much for having exactly. me on the channel once again it's been like any time brother time, so. yeah <laughs> always like i said like i said if if people you know they keep on talking stuff like that but i'm here always not only for you only for any player who wants to do something good for india or something he wants to, he wants to do something for us so why not we are here just to help man and I, i'll do that you are like my brother and i'll surely be doing that in the future also so if if it doesn't work out i'll drop by dubai once again <laughs> <laughs> sure man sure <laughs> every time here to help you out man <laughs> thank you for thank you for joining me uh, so guys jo bhi log dekh rahe the yaar thank you so much for supporting thank you so much for your comments thank you so much for your insight and questions and answers and uh, like mindset says nfc qualifies for the semis beating all odds and i hope triman ranveer here beats all out and signs for india signs for the club he wants to play i hope that happens in the future because future is unpredictable thank you for watching guys until next time